All right, what's up everybody? Ballet Brand here as always. And in this video, I want to go over a tool and a resource that's extremely valuable um, because they have this kind of tool for uh, Bitcoin whale bots, Ethereum whale bots. And uh, anyways, I think it's important for the hexagons to see what's going on because not only does it do whale actions, if they do like a big transfer which might allude to a sell type deal or um, a big stake. But you can kind of just see a little bit more clearly through the noise what's going on in the network uh, as it just continues to perform. So this is the specific uh, stake that I want to talk about. And then there's a couple other tools and resources that I want to uh, be concise and cover as well. So let's get right into it. So this was done pretty much seven o'clock my time. So about an hour and 33 minutes ago. And we can see uh, 4,353,203 US dollars staked for 5,555 days. Now that is uh, 1,607.4 T-shares. So that is really cool. Congrats to this person that is delaying their gratification. It's important to look at tools like this because once again, Hex is a product, right? It's similar to a high interest savings account or a certificate of deposit, but on steroids, you know, like the crypto version. It's, it's, uh, it's also similar to Bitcoin, right? How Bitcoin does um, mining and it's got inflation and it adjusts its difficulty upwards. Hex is very similar except the mining is just a little bit different. Instead of physical proof of work that uses electricity, it's a proof of stake, right? And so that's more efficient, but it's still doing the same thing. It's got the inflation. It's got um, a lower inflation rate than Bitcoin had on its way to 20K and 65K and it's consistent, right? And so the other thing is also is that inflation is only paid to the stakers. And so when this person right here is staking for 5,555 days, that's over 15.2 years. So technically there's 3.69% inflation, but if it's only getting paid out to the staker, then that guy is holding on to a lot of inflation that's not going to get realized for at least seven and a half years. Cause that's probably the point that he'd be able to break even and, uh, and get his principal back, right? So anyways, let me get back into it real quick. This is super important because it goes to show you what I've been talking about for the longest time that, hey, people are voting by not just talking the talk, but walking the walk. They're voting by showing their actions. Uh, this bot used to show $10,000 buys or you know $10,000 stakes for Cuatro Cinco, 5,555 days. And now we see that not only are the cells getting bigger, which is great, but the buys and the stakes are getting bigger too, which is even better. It's uh, showing that people are confident in the system. They see that it has 100% uptime. And these are people putting in, you know, large freaking sums of money. This isn't the first person that's done this, but literally locking it, staking it for longer than Bitcoin has ever been around. So that's pretty cool. So this is just one of the stakes, right? And we can see uh, Dustin Hawks. If you're not following Do Hawks R8, you need to. Um, he's actually one of the people that is not one of the people. He is the person that is uh, pretty much sponsoring like a uh, a race car, like a Lamborghini, like the world's fastest Lamborghini, I believe, like the world's fastest car. And it's going to be all uh, decked out and, and wrapped up in hex from what I've heard. So um, shout out to Dustin. He's a great guy. And honestly, never seen him on streams. I've seen him do maybe like a, a Twitter clip once when he... Uh, blew out one of his guns. But the point is, is this guy really knows what he's talking about. He, uh, you know, he's onboarding big players and big people that are outside of just the crypto industry. These other people, like, why do you think Gary and, and Robert Kiyosaki go from real estate to crypto? Because they realize, hey, the trend is changing. And the trend is always your friend. If you, if you go against the grain, as far as like in this case against the trend, then you know you're just not going to make as much gains 
as if you go with the flow type deal. All right, so shout out to Dustin. He's always got a lot of uh, really good insights and I think everyone should follow him and you know, possibly even turn on the notifications if you haven't already. Uh, professional dad, no financial advice here, but he does really good analysis. So we'll, uh, we'll see if there's any other comments here. Um, baller, cool, cool. So everyone's just kind of gloating over the, not gloating, but they're, they're excited, right, over the pricing. So that was just one of them, right? That was about an hour and 33 minutes ago. So let's go to tweets and replies. That way we can see all of the replies. And let's just see if there's anything, uh, anything else going on. Because like I said, it's got a certain call, a certain trigger that, uh, that ticks that API or that bot that, um, and I'll follow that guy, that, uh, you know, makes it go as a post. So we're going to scroll down here. And what do you know, 190.6 T-shares, we've got, you know, about a half a million, a little over half a million. So 522,000. And then look, I'm guessing this is probably the same address. I'm not going to, uh, you know what, actually I will for just the sake of it. Let's just see if that's the same address. So EB73, okay, yeah, so that's the same address. I just verified it on a new tab. You can do it yourself, but so this one right here. So between these two, this person staked over a million dollars, like a million, uh, you know, 44, uh, 44,000. So that's really cool. This person has clearly shown their trust and they're doing what I always uh, recommend people look into, which is a ladder, right? They didn't just take a million and lock it for 15 years or 10 years. No, they divided it up. And the more that you do that, obviously, if you do it too much, you're going to dilute the potentiality of it accruing interest and kind of the, the shares that you're getting. But if you have it on, say, like an annual basis or things like that is probably what I do, then uh, you're not going to be tempted, most likely, to emergency end stake a, uh, a really longer stake that would really screw you over. So without making this too long, that's, uh, that's one really good resource. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. This is actually something I just saw today because I've got their, uh, their notification set on my phone. I suggest you do the same thing. You know, give them, give at Will Hex a follow and then turn on notifications. Same thing with Dustin Hawks and then uh, Richard as well. But here's the, uh, the stake count, right? So we can see this is recording since the beginning of Hex, which was December 2nd, 2019. And it's just one big freaking parabola. And uh, it's cool to see the fluctuations, right? This was the big payday. So this is when the origin address staked and we had about 99% staking uh, participation. And then we can see it drop back down. It just did this not only to circulate the supply, unlike Satoshi, it, it proved that, hey, there's keys and there's a, a benevolent whale that knows what they're doing. Um, it also diluted the sellers that were just speculating to, uh, to dump the big payday. So they still got about 30% with even the OA staking uh, for that one day. So anyways, we can see it goes back up again and we are looking very, very solid. I mean, that's 320,000 stakes almost, right? That, uh, that have accrued in under two years. So that's pretty cool. And uh, so, so that's it for this one. Let me, and then check this out. Yeah, over uh, half a million just bought. And you know, you can see all the big sells, all the big buys. Uh, T.me slash hex trading is good too. If you, you don't even have to be a trader, but if you want someone else to like do the work for you and you kind of want to know what the hell is going on, then T.me slash hex trading is very good too. Um, you know, just kind of like any other recommendation, uh, if you're, if you're in a room full of people and you don't know any of them, maybe sit back and listen, right? Sit back and listen for a bit before, uh, you know, chiming in, especially if you're newer. Um, cause sometimes, you know, those people have been around for such a long time and they, they kind of know what they're, uh, they're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. So anyways, just know that about the hex trading, same thing with the hex pro. It's not for, uh, for newbies for the most part. It's for those experienced people that wanted to get away from the noise of the main chat. And I totally know how that goes. All right, so here's the next resource. We got, a, we got one more after this that we'll cover. So this is the Hex Daily Bot. And this was done by Togo. And uh, if I actually search his name here, Togo, you can see... I don't even know how to pronounce this, but Togo Shigakata. 
I met the guy in Vegas, really cool guy. You can see that's his photo there. So him and uh, Ryan Lopez are the ones that head this up from uh, everything that I've seen. They've got a, uh, a telegram too. I think it's just under the Hex Daily Stats name as well. But we're going to scroll down and, and like I said, I don't want to make this too long of a video, but I want to be educational and, and not rant too much. Uh, I want to be kind of a smooth form content. So here's what here's what I talk about a lot. And a lot of hexagons are doing the same thing as well is we're not necessarily calling everything by T-shares because a lot of OGs can relate to that. A lot of the people that were even there before Big Payday can relate to that. But, you know, T-shares are too damn expensive right now for the average Joe. And the last thing you want to do is paint this picture because that's what you're doing. When you're educating someone that is not knowledgeable in a subject, whether you realize it or not, you're kind of like selling them and you're kind of like educating them on it. So if you're painting a picture that, oh, T-shares are too expensive and blah, 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 uh, you're going to be priced out, they might get the feeling that, hey, well, why the hell am I going to stake and get these shares if I can't even get one T-share? So that's definitely not the case. And this is my point here is that the T-share used to be 60 cents, right? We can see as of 15 hours ago on that close at 00, 00 UTC every single day that uh, the B share right now, so for 1 billion shares, it's uh, $8.64. So meaning a T-share was 8640 roughly. And uh, once again, you can see how quickly that gets uh, outpriced. But the cool thing is here for, for everyone that knows, and everyone should know this, but uh, just in case you didn't. So the way that the shares work is you get 20% more shares if you lock uh, for every year longer. Uh, so if you lock for one day, you're just gonna get like no, no bonus, right? No longer pays better bonus. But the longer that you actually stake, the more that you get that bonus. And the way that it works is like I mentioned, 20% more shares for every year that you lock up into 3,641 days. So we're just gonna take that 864, so 8.64, and we're gonna divide it by three. Why am I doing this? Because it's proving a point that you can maximize whatever capital you have, whatever you know allocation you can put into HEX right now or on a dollar cost basis, however you decide to do it. You can get this same B share for $2.88, which is a third of the price by just staking for the, uh, the maximum share uh, increase, right? Which is 3,641 days, it's 10 years. And when I talk about doing things like a CD ladder, say you staked, say you had $100,000 and you staked, um, you know, one hex stake for every year up into the max. So you've got one, two, all the way up to 15. And uh, when you've got the 10 through 15, like I mentioned earlier, now you've got a third of the price when it comes to the T-share. And those other stakes below it, they're a little bit more expensive relative to the maximum amount, but it just goes to show you how you can really get the most bang for your buck. And honestly, that's how the system is designed anyways. It's designed to delay gratification. That's why we see that the average staking length is like 5.7 years. And when it first started, it was like three, 3.2, 3.3. So let's get back to uh, the focus on topic. So once again, you can kind of see what the B share is. And I've, I've done videos in the past in 2020 when uh, I still need to publish this one, but when Hex had done a 266 X, and now we just passed 10,000 X most recently before staking. And so we saw T-shares go from 60 cents to like over $9,000. And that was like twice, like that was like two times in Ethereum. And, and now we're seeing that, hey, the B share is the old T share. And so once again, if you can get that for a third of the price, you you should really consider because it's not only good for you, but it's even better for you because you're using the system how it's intended. All right, so that's pretty much it on, on these two, right? Go to Hex Daily Bot and then go to the Whale Hex. Okay, I'm gonna show you another website real quick here too. We're going to stop the screen share and then go back into uh, hexinfo.io. You can also look at something similar with uh, apphex.win slash charts. So this is hexinfo.io. 
And let me just turn off my vibrate real quick here. Richard's posting and uh, the phone's just blowing up. It never stops ringing. So anyways, hexinfo.io, this is not valid anymore because obviously the adoption amplifier, the initial phase is over. But here's some cool stats that you can kind of look at. And then we're just going to scroll all the way down. Once again, some adoption amplifier stats, things like that. That's great. We're going to scroll all the way down here and stakes and referrals. So you can see what each individual address has as far as stakes, how much they referred, did they self-refer. You can kind of look into things like that for just hex history. Um, so this is that first page that I shared the screen with, that, uh, that $4 million for 5,555 days, like 10.1 million hex. So that's the address itself. That's the Ethereum address. What I'm gonna do is just scroll down here. You can see, so they've got no referrals. They've got a total of two stakes. Whoops, so uh, let's see, two stakes. Average stake, uh, eight point, you know, that's cool. The whole point is they got 16.208 and they've got this many shares. So 1,900, 38.66 uh, T-shares. Good for them, right? That's uh, that's pretty damn good. It's better than uh, most, especially just getting into it. And um, that's the other cool thing too, is T-shares used to be 60 cents, but now people like this are having to spend really good money just to get that dolphin status. Or, uh, you know, squids are even doing freaking killer. And um, anyways, and then the other thing is like sharks, that's pretty much just out of the territory anymore when it comes to the amount of shares. So, the cool thing here is it kind of gives you a really good visual. So I tried this on apex.win slash charts, and it's got a very similar visual as well as far as the data, but this just seems to be a little bit cleaner to the eye. So I personally use this for this kind of uh, tool and resource. So you can see this person is ending their uh, their stake that they just did. They're over 10 million hex stake, uh, December 2036. That was the big payday. And then that's just a timeline. And then so this one here is going to be November 2021, right? So maybe expect some sell pressure here or just something to kind of look at when we uh, when we see everything that's going on in the market. We can see that not only are stakes getting longer and bigger, but, um, you know, even the people that kind of just had a shorter time frame there, um, some of them are, are realizing a lot of interest or or principle two, or just completely selling out. And that's fine, right? The system is not intended for everyone to be in it at one time, because it wouldn't work that way. The system is designed as a cycle, right? So just like nature has its cycle and market cycle, uh, Hex does the same thing, where everyone's got their own time frame that they want to realize profit and stay in and restake and things like this. Everyone's a different participant in the network, depending on their circumstances. All right, so we're getting close to the 20 minute mark. Uh, I got one last thing that I want to cover because it's something I've covered before, but once again, it's just a really good resource. So we're gonna scroll all the way up here. Once again, this is hex.vision made by developer Firebun. We can scroll down here and see, you know, firebun.eth. And uh, anyways, we're gonna scroll all the way right here. So these are all the penalties, right? That have been paid to stakers since the inception of hex over 3 billion goes to show you that a lot of people are uh, making a killer interest, not only on the the APY, right? Not only on just the amount of people that are staked, it's like less than 10%, um, which is which is great. Because if 100% of people were staked, you'd get a 3.69. But since it's 10, it's like 36, 37% APY type deal for the average. But they're also getting freaking killer payouts on people that are ending their stakes early. And that's something that I've covered before too. But it's important to really just look at this chart and this data and understand what it means. This is the inflation, right? This is the supply. If there is going to be sell pressure, um, obviously there's liquid hex, right? There's a whole bunch of liquid hex. But as far as the, the people that are not whales, right? That haven't really sold anything. Uh, this is where, where all of the stakes are. And these have officially been locked. So the one that I showed you earlier, the first one, that today at 00 UTC, which is five o'clock Pacific standards, uh, my time, will actually go into effect. Uh, because even though it started now like an hour and 53 minutes ago, um, it's not actually locked until that day ticks over. 
So it'll say pending on either staker app or go.hex.com. And then once that day ticks over, it'll officially lock. And then from there, if you end stake early, you're gonna get freaking slaughtered in, uh, in fees and possibly nuke yourself completely out depending on how much time you served. So you do have a little window when it is pending if you happen to make a mistake to uh, end, end stake it early, right? You're still gonna have to pay a gas fee, but that's a little Easter egg that most people, most OGs know, but most people just don't really talk about it as much. If you happen to make a mistake or accidentally duplicated a stake that's still pending, you can cancel it before the uh, day ticks over and you're not going to get that ridiculous end stake fee, once again, as long as it's pending. But anyways, I'll, uh, I'll cover this for just another minute or two. Once again, I really want people to look at this. So Hex has an average of about 5.6, 5.7 um, you know, years for the average staking length. And we can just see all of this different volume. So you can see the actual stakes that are expiring in Hex. So that's saying 3.95 billion. That's absolutely a lot. You can see also the amount of shares. So 254,480 uh, T-shares. And the reason that this is important is because as we all know, and if you don't, I'll educate you now, when you're staking, you're receiving shares for the hex that you put in. You're burning the hex, you're receiving shares. The shares are completely deflationary. Um, they've got a certain period where they start ramping up. We can see right here, this 254,480 T-shares. Well, when these stakes end, those shares are gonna burn. They're gonna be poof, you know, disappear from existence. Now, if these people want to buy back the same amount of shares, they're going to have to use their interest on top of their principal. They're going to also have to stake the hex longer. And generally it's significantly longer um, as I've had in my own experience, right? Where if you want those same amount of shares that are generating you that revenue and that you know trustless interest in the form of hex every day, then that's what you need to do if you want to maintain the same amount. Uh, what we also know is that 5,555 days is the maximum amount that you can stake. So no one can hold on to their shares forever. And that's the beautiful thing about this system is Richard had talked about wanting to initially, the design function initially, most people don't know this, but it was supposed to be for 50 years. You were, you were supposed to be able to lock instead of for 15.2 the max for 50. But um, not only did Richard realize that, hey, the Ethereum network has limitations and the gas wouldn't even be able to calculate to perform that function. But he also realized, you know, we wanna reward people that are in early, but we don't wanna screw people that are coming in today and coming in five years from now, 10 years from now. We always wanna leave meat on the bone to incentivize new people to come in and to also incentivize uh, old stakers that are realizing their stakes, like I mentioned, to restake. You have to be able to have that incentive, that bait for the person to bite onto and how they're incentivized is in the form of interest and holding on to their shares for as long as their stake is. So once again, we'll go over this for just another minute. We can see how many people are um, not short-term minded, but we can just see like the volume so this is going per uh, per month, right? So September, October, November, don't need to go over all of them, but we can see just like before 2022, man, let's just get to a 2022 right here, uh, which is this candle. So we can see one, two, three, four. We can see these four candles are freaking huge. Let me just zoom in to just so everyone can kind of see uh, in terms of scale, like look at how much bigger this candle is than this one, which is in 2029, October, 2029. Uh, so it's really beneficial for those people that are staking longer to be doing it now because it's always the best share rate as far as today that you're gonna be able to stake the hex. And when you see that some of these people are selling out early and they're ending their stakes early, you can kind of have the almost like the first mover's advantage or like the early adopter advantage by uh, beating them to the chase if they were to restake it longer. 
and you know staking before they do type deal and uh anyways what that does is it just allows you to continue building your ladder you can see once again how much volume is here within just the next five years like that's why the average staking length is like 5.7 years something like that a lot of this volume is going to be realized and especially after the average itself we're going to see just t-shares they constantly become and the shares in general constantly become more rare and more valuable but especially for these people that are holding it for longer even these people at 10 years right they're they're going to be able to keep these shares while these people over here are ending their stakes and burning their shares and then right here is kind of like the freaking goldilocks zone the 2032 between like the 2036 where there's just not much volume and um it's something you should consider when you are staking that hey there's a calendar there they didn't used to have it at the beginning but there's a calendar now where you can choose what specific day you want to end it on make sure you do it the day before because when it ticks over it'll actually be the day that you want it to be so that's something to consider they call it the off by one error and i've got a few stakes that um that have had that happen um but anyways if you are not staked where the other people are then there's going to be most likely from what we can see in the math less sell pressure um, and you're going to be able to get a better price for the uh, hex stake that you have as opposed to piling on this person for freaking february 2030 or even this person for October of 2029, or even right here. If you like, you this is the interesting thing. You can almost like front run or just stake after them. So this one is January, the month of January, 2036. There's going to be uh, so 1.28 billion hex. We've got this is a lot. 10 million 589 thousand 682. That's a freaking hell of a lot of t shares. But anyways. If you can kind of beat this person to the punch and you know maybe you wanted to lock this long but guess what you don't want to be diluted by the price because most likely that person is going to realize some value and all those cumulative stakes are going to guess what maybe do it a couple months before or a couple months after where most likely the price will have had a time to settle so that's really all i have for this video didn't want to make it too long uh, but i also wanted to make it uh, informative and educational for the people that are in. So once again, just to recap, go to, uh, you know, you can go to twitter.com slash uh, hex daily stats. And then you can also go to twitter.com slash, uh, what is it? Hex whale bot. Uh, so there's hex whale bot. There's the uh, hex daily bot that I had covered. And um, the first part that I said was actually wrong. It's actually just hex daily stats.com. But that's all I have. Uh, use use the tools, right? No other cryptocurrency, and in my opinion, uh, financial instrument and product has what Hex has. Not only a community, a founder, but the the product itself is obviously amazing. But the the data, right? The data that you can look at, that you can analyze before calculating your decision. So it's not a risk. A super high risk like i mentioned earlier compared to some of these other investments no it's a calculated decision you know what the contract is doing we've seen what its history has done as far as price performance and we also see the 100 percent uptime with the locked immutable right immutable meaning that you can't you know you can't move it around you can't change it uh the immutable code and as we go into a bear market as we continue to see regulation, things like this, things like Hex and things like Uniswap that are completed products with no admin keys that are audited are going to continue standing out. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you everyone for tuning in and uh, cheers, right? We're all in early. If you're watching this now, you're in absolutely freaking early and just realize T-shares went from 60 cents to over 9,000 and you can have those similar returns as well because it's going to go more parabolic. It's designed that way um, in a similar relative amount of time. So what was it? 600 something days that it took for that price appreciation to happen. All right. Well, consider getting in today at a B share price. And if it does the same thing a T share did, then you're going to have like triple amount that the T share did because the B share is already 
you know, like three bucks if you if you uh, buy it at the you know the the maximum length, the the ten years. If you don't, then you're just buying it at the spot price. Then it's yeah, eight dollars and sixty cents, which really goes to show you how valuable the T shares are. So you can see the daily payout, you can see what it's doing, and more people are putting in their money. And you know, you hear a lot of yap yap and you know, crying and complaining and stuff like this and, and banter. But at the end of the day, the facts don't care. Just like with Bitcoin, just like with anything else, the facts don't care about people's opinions, about people's bias. What is the performance doing? What do the numbers tell me? What is the community and the uh, history and the testimonials showing? If, to me, it's showing that it's going from pre-viral to viral. I mean, every single day we're getting thousands of stakers and new wallets and things like that that you see, the 320,000 uh, staking wallets. And uh, that's only going up, right? It's the prime time to get in at something at the ground floor. And not to mention, this hasn't even had the pulse chain copy yet. So whatever you do today, because Richard hasn't, um, he hasn't announced or mentioned the snapshot yet. We know that the testnet's out and we know that there's going to be a certain time frame, you know, maybe 30 days to, I don't know, 66 days, something like that, for an example, that maybe we'll see an announcement of a block height for the snapshot of the mainnet launch, which is what you'll want for the copy. But um, this is all before that announcement. And so just like we saw with the, pulse chain uh, event itself. As far as the sacrifice phase, we saw the price freaking pump up significantly. And a lot of people, you know, maybe speculated the opposite. So I think that we could really see a similar thing here with the, uh, not only the block height announcement, but just as we continue to move forward, Kavana said it the other day, uh, the best, which was, hey, and I've mentioned this too, but you know, a penny used to be the, like the ceiling, like the price, the price floor as far as, um, you know, now it's a floor, but it used to be like a resistance. And now it's like 50 cents. We've gone up 50 cents. We've gone past it, right? And then we've gone below. And we've kind of got this, you know, this chopping back and forth, this uh, zigzag type deal. And the more that we do that, we're solidifying the breakout that we're going to do. And, you know, generally it goes up or down as far as the breakout goes, but I don't see any sign of this slowing down. I see exactly the opposite, this continuing its momentum. And once again, a parabola gets, as it starts to hockey stick and go up like this, it's getting more vertical and the pressure is getting more immense. And the virality, you know, that's when you're kind of getting those euphoric feelings and things like that, because there's just such a abundance of people coming in to the system at once. So we're all, we're all still at this flat line before this kind of big long-term logarithmic hockey, hockey stick and uh, in price chart. So that's all I have for today. Thank you everyone. And I'll see you in the next video.